friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india let us see management of this rock hard cataract you can see the brownish black appearance of this cataract size of the people in this case is about 4.5 mm if the cataract is soft or of medium density we can manage the nucleus without any problem if the size of the people is like this but in this case the cataract is very hard and we should not i repeat since the cataract is very hard we should not take any risk we should dilate the people with any device iris hook or any kind of people expansion device and do the surgery under direct visualization it will be much much safer and every patient deserve that safety measures let us observe this surgery by this time all the incisions have been made trypan blue dye has been applied over the anterior capsule and now we are going to apply we are going to fill off the anterior chamber with viscoelastic substance this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose methyl cellulose can protect the corneal endothelium very well and now the side port on the left side through which we are going to introduce the chopper is going to be made here it is and and now this is a people expansion device this is called bhex bhex people expander alternate flanges are tucked under the iris the device must be taken completely into the anterior chamber and then the alternate flanges are tucked under the iris we have tucked the leading flange and the flange on the left side through the main incision this is b hex forceps and now going through the left side port the flange on the right side of the main incision is tucked now the people has taken hexagonal shape some more visco and now capsulorexis is to be done the anterior capsule is incised with a 26 case band needle and a capsular tag is raised now this capsular tag is held with this ureta forceps go anti clockwise along the border of the dilated pupil and thus an adequate sized continuous curvilinear capsulorexis is made now hydro dissection is to be done bss is passed just under the anterior capsular rim at multiple points when the cataract is hard and the pupil is small we must inject small amounts of fluid at multiple points and then tap the nucleus and try to rotate the nucleus in this case i have injected fluid at multiple points now i am trying to rotate the nucleus but it is not rotating so i do some more hydro hydro at around 12 o'clock some more hydro at 6 o'clock and now i inject some more visco and then i'm going to rotate this nucleus by manually using two instruments two sinski hooks if we rotate the nucleus by manually stress on the jonule is much much less some more visco 2% spmc and now is the time 
to introduce the tip of the FACO needle into the anterior chamber. In this case, we are going to use furrows from Oatly. Here it is. The tip of the FACO needle enters into the anterior chamber with its bevel down. Then some cortical matter is removed. Visibility improves a lot if we remove some superficial cortical lens matter. And now watch submarine chop. The handpiece is turned, bevel is up and now with the help of the chopper the nucleus is pushed little down here it is the nucleus is pushed little down and the tip of the phaco needle is buried into the substance of the nucleus it goes through the nucleus towards the opposite equator and as it reaches near the opposite equator the nucleus is chopped like this and now this is a very nice crack now I rotate it 180 degree and hold the two heminuclei and separate completely yes so the nucleus has completely divided into two heminuclei. Now each heminucleus is divided into two large fragments. Here the fragments are still joined to each other. Let us see what happens here. The other heminucleus. The tip is buried into the heminucleus and it is chopped and yes in this case the two pieces are free they are not joined to each other and now I tilt each fragment and emulsify the pieces if we don't use any people expansion device at this time the people may be so small that any disaster can happen. This is the other piece. It is tilted and emulsification is started from its apex. And now this is another piece. It is chopped into two smaller pieces and then it is emulsified. FECO power that is ultrasonic energy used in this case is 80 percent. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And now, this is the last fragment. At this time, we must be very careful about anterior chamber stability. There should not be any surge and while emulsifying this epinucleus we can use a posterior capsule protector but in this case it was not necessary because the anterior chamber was very stable and now cortical cleanup is to be done in this case I have used both Simco and bimanual irrigation aspiration You can see some lens matter is in the side port. So I take the chopper and 
remove the lens matter like this and now I take the Simcoe cannula and remove the cortex from the inferior aspect here goes the Simcoe and I remove the cortex from 3 o'clock and then 4 o'clock and then 5 o'clock and from 6 and 7 o'clock now I go through the left side port and remove some cortex from 9 o'clock it is very important to remove the cortex very nicely from 360 degree now bimanual IA is ready I take the bimanual IA irrigation is from the right aspiration from the left and here it is cortex from 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock is removed there is some cortex at 2.30 o'clock but I we can't see any cortex at this moment and now in this case we selected a hydrophobic multipiece intraocular lens because we didn't have any stock of a single piece lens. I'm going to use a B cartridge. So enlarge the main wound by 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 millimeter. And now inject the sensor multipiece intraocular lens. The haptic has come out and now as the optic comes out the curtis is rotated anti-clockwise and now some visco is applied over the surface of the eye well and then I'm going to hold this haptic and place it in the capsular bag. The lens is dialed, the optic is nicely covered all around by the capsule, and now the B hex is removed. All the flanges are untucked and it is pulled out. And now the visco that is there in the anterior chamber and in the capsular bag uh, is thoroughly removed by Simco and bimanual irrigation aspiration. at this time the irrigation is in the capsular bag we must irrigate the capsular bag because lot of visco gets trapped behind the eye well and now this is irrigation and aspiration together very nice cleaning of visco is done now we are towards the end of this surgery this is a bit of moxifloxacin and now the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this 
stab wounds. In this video, the message is if the cataract is hard, we should not take any risk. We should use any kind of pupil expansion device, either iris hook or any kind of pupil expansion device. I use PHEX because it is a very nice device, a versatile device. We can use it in shallow anterior chamber and it doesn't need any injector system and it is affordable by us. The case is concluded now. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.